guys. I am. Hey, I'm on. Come on. Why did it show this? I took a picture of this. Okay. Come on. You can do it. All right, let me just do that. Click all. While I'm waiting. Hey, girl. <laughs> How's life in Nevada? Do they have accent there? Uh, oops. I swear. I just want to be able to read chat. Aloha. I just want to be stop. able to reach out. Aloha. <laughs> okay. God, pause that. Okay. It was a slow start. <laughs> okay. Hopefully, hopefully I'm going to be able to see chat. If I don't answer you, it's not because I am ignoring you. Okay. So these are the blocks. The colors are pink, gray, and white. Hi, Barbara. Pink, gray, and white. I've started a little bit of beading. I've done none on this. This stuff was already on the dress. So I'm kind of taking my cue for that. She don't want it to frou-frou, but I can't leave it alone. I have to put some beads on it. This one I decided is done. This one. This is hand crocheted, not by me. I don't even know where it came from. Hola Romaine. But I used that. So, I have one all the way done. And I think I have started on this one. And the, this is what I'm working with. So, somebody tell me a story. Is the lighting okay? Is the sound okay? Was everything okay? Was it a nice day out? It was a beautiful day in East Central Illinois. I, these silver beads are, <laughs> I just decided to put them on. So I had to dig them out. Thank you, Steve. Do I know you? Hey, Vanessa. Grab your crazy quilt blocks and stitch along. I actually threaded some needles so I wouldn't have to stop and do that. I was just sitting here listening to a book on tape. Well, on my computer. It's going to be a pillow. A pillow. You don't have any crazy quilt blocks? Shame on you. It'll finish to about 16 inches is what. I'm hoping. And this fabric here is going to be the back of it. <laughs> oh no, Dana. <laughs> How are you? I was wondering if you would be up. I'm glad you are. I took a nap. <laughs> so I'm bright eyed and bushy tailed. Did you? It was that kind of day. It was a beautiful day, but I still had to take a nap. <laughs> oh, it's okay, Vanessa. I, I'm just teasing. 
but you better have some on the you better have some handy next time. <laughs> Yep, I just decided, I said, I'm going to go live. I am going live, haven't done it in a while. And I need to finish these blocks. So, it's a twofer. It's a win-win. Well, too bad I don't have a thumbs-up lamp to show everybody. <laughs> hint, hint. Oh, thanks, Steve. I'm glad. Well, I'm glad you're here. <laughs> Tenna. <laughs> Was that a guilt offering? <laughs> Oh yeah, you said you had something else. Oh man, I went yard I went yard sailing. <laughs> My really cool fine yard sailing. I'm going to do a video on it. <laughs> oh, him, huh? Hmm. I'll bet it's a puppy. Uh-oh, is that too dark? Oh well. So anyway, I went yard selling on Thursday. Friday, I drove my car to work. My new car, her name is Thelma. My boss went to Washington, D.C. again, so I drove myself to work, and I went to the idea store. The quilt is, this is going to go to Texas. Her son's getting married September 22nd. I have to have this done before then. Ten minutes for Lori for Justin's wedding. Hey, Angela. I am making a wedding pillow. And it's going to Texas, but it ain't going to you. <laughs> it's for my friend Lori's um, son. She's flying to Texas for his wedding. I think the, where's the wedding? Um, is it in Houston, Tenna? Where's she going? I can't remember. I, look, <laughs> all I have to do, I got one done. <laughs> Is this it? This one's done. This one's almost done. This one has a start. And I have this one. I think I can do it. I think I can do it. Except now, which one was I working on? Oh. Because to finish it is nothing. You sew the blocks together, you sew the back on. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I just know it's in Texas. And Texas is a big state, but it I feels like it's a city that I have heard of before. So I'm going to call this one done too. Okay. I wonder if I know where my interfacing is to put on the back. You know how it goes when you clean your room and you don't remember where you put stuff? That's me. <laughs> Look, I used black thread. <laughs> I, 
kind of video. I videoed picking the fabrics and then the completed blocks. And I thought about showing them with just the embroidery on them. And then I did it. And there's my sister, Juju. This I cut out. Oh, where'd it go? Well, I've lost it. It was a big, long strip, and I cut the little flowers out. So, oh, I don't know if I'm going to put something down here. Maybe those little silver ones. I almost texted you, Juju, but then I didn't. But here you are anyway, so everything's fine. Not that thread needle because that needle's too big. Yeah, I like him. Oh, here it is. See, it was a big long piece and I I trimmed it down. So just the so you don't have to use the whole thing. You can just use pieces. I'm going to put these on too. Okay. Oh, I got those bugle beads too I could do something with. So I bought a blingy steering wheel cover for my car. <laughs> it's got diamonds on it. Different colored diamonds. She gave me a few. She gave me at least a month. To, you know, a month lead time. I made her pick the fabrics out, most of them. She gave me the dress. Uh, this, this dress. Because she wanted, it's called like a blush pink. So that was, and she picked out this pink too. Marilyn Lovejoy likes that fabric. But um, she, she gave me this dress. So... And then she said she wanted mostly grays and whites with just a little pink. So I tried not to go too overboard. I think I iron that. Um, that was the easy part. And then I sat and stared at them for a long time after I got them done. Like, you know, I really should. Darla, yes, it's got diamonds on it. <laughs> I'm so pr I'm so glad you remembered that. <laughs> oh, she died. She got the cancer just like everybody else in her family. I miss her. She was my bestest buddy in Indiana. And do you remember Joe Burris, Kathy? He went blind. So that's sad. He had all them horses. <laughs> I think I want to use those bugle beads next. Okay, see my nails? <laughs> I'm gonna... Not sponsored, not affiliated, but this stuff... I love it. I have two colors now. 
and it dries really fast. Joe lived like you in Andersonville, you went, I don't know, down a windy road. He had a, ho a bunch of horses. Cur he had curly, curly, dark, dark, curly hair and glasses. Okay, where could I put those? Okay, I don't know if I like this already. You can barely see it. Maybe if I get a bunch on there, it'll be okay. Barbara, I mailed your fabric today. I'll put some stuff in there for you. You'll understand when you see it. Some creepy girls and a thing you can use for a tag in your journals. Oh well. That was 1999. I'm just glad you remember Darla. It was so funny when I sent that invoice last night. Robin paid it like two seconds after I sent it. <laughs> I was like, whoa, that was quick. Darla. She was a true hillbilly, wasn't she? some white sequins. Hey, I know where I could put those, maybe. So I could Got a bag full of stuff at the idea store. I, I'm doing a haul video. I already started it. I started it before I went to the yard sales. <laughs> it was townwide yard sales, Cisna Park.
It's got a rain alert. It's going to rain tomorrow. It's shiny. It's definitely very shiny. I won't bore you and do this one. I'll do this one later. It just told me that, that it's going to rain tomorrow. Weather bug did. Okay. Let me try to find it on here. <laughs> um, let's look at the rose quilt. I just had it. Oh, I'm going to show you this too. I'm doing a white on white. Stop, stop. Why is this doing that? Okay. Uh, my Russian lady that always comments, she said, why don't you do a white on white? I'm like, yeah, why don't I? So if this goes like I want it to, I'll be doing kits for this. This is gonna be a pillow. Okay, so here's what I got on the rose quilt. I really haven't worked on it because I, truthfully, it's underneath something else over there. So I haven't, and this got smashed. Dang it. And I've just tried to get something done on each of it. That's that Hobby Lobby tape I got. I really like that. Oh, now we're getting into the naked ones. These ain't got nothing on them. That one don't. This one does. Looks like I ran out right there and didn't finish it. Okay, and I was tacking this down, but I still have to do the bottom of it. like how this stuff is looks it is so hard to sew down but I would still recommend it if you need leaves and vines or stuff this one looks pretty much done well unless I bead look at my flowers look at my ribbon look at my button cluster I think I have 12 blocks. So there you go, Angela. That's what I got done. And I crocheted. If you crochet, um, this is ribbon and a yarn together and you just do like this they make roses just crochet a chain oh I found I found these at Joann's. Won't those look pretty on there? Here's another one. It's that same stuff and you just roll it up. Just 
roll it up and makes a rose. An abstract rose. <laughs> Okay, let me finish this now. Social Security Office called me, finally. Evidently, the person who caught my case on August 9th quit. So, while I was yard sailing, they called me, and I have to get which I don't know why I just didn't do this in the first place. I have to get my marriage license from Florida. Oh, I hate to hear that, Kathy. Maybe you'll get some good sunsets, though. But anyway, as soon as I get that paperwork and I send it in... I shall be getting some money. <laughs> oh, one more. Only one more. I don't want to get it too close to the edge. That's a good way to break a sewing machine needle. might need to stop at Joanne Fabrics again and get some of that knit interfacing since I lost lost mine. Okay, so let me look over here. Uh, uh, <laughs> help. All right, we'll just put some pearls here. If they fit through this needle. Yep. No problem. No worries. Things are looking up. It's going to be winter again, too. I was going to do sequins. I'll do them next. I problem. I, pr I problem. I promise. <laughs> Well, Barbara, it just holds everything down. Oh, I was going to ask you if you had heard from him, Kathy. Did he go to Scooter's thing? I did not make it because I already had plans. They had his memorial today. It was like all over WHPO. Uh oh, this one might not fit. Ah, dang it. Hey, thank you, Betty Jean. He hasn't made it here yet. Okay. Yes, winter romaine. I love winter. <laughs> Mostly because I don't have to go out in it. <laughs> Unless I want to. Thank you, Steve. If I had my thumbs up lamp, I could... <laughs> I'm gonna... I'm guilt tripping Tenna. She's gonna give it to me when I see her. And she's got something else for me. <laughs> I 
Do they have winter in Nevada, Kathy? I don't know anything about it. <laughs> I won't be home till tomorrow afternoon. Don't leave it on my porch. Daniel will think it's for him. <laughs> oh, yeah. The picker in my... Um, in my haul video, I, I the picker brought me a bunch of stuff. <laughs> oh, Steve's in Nevada too. <laughs> Romaine, just stock up and stay home. Do you work? I've never asked you that. I'm in Illinois. <laughs> The armpit of America. America. <laughs> Illinois, where our governors make our license plates. No, we don't want the picker to get it. Um, just wait and I'll, I will come and get it. I'm going to come to your house. <laughs> I'm driving Thelma down to your house. Okay, got to use sequins or my sister's going to yell at me. Oh, I know where. Tomorrow is Sunday, dear. Tuesday. I had I had intentions of cleaning today. <laughs> no, I'm not coming on Sunday. I have to go to Danville. <laughs> okay, I'm going to use this sequin. No, our no Kathy, all of our governors are were in prison. That's why they make our license plates. Really, Romaine? Oh, my goodness. I wish they'd do that here. Because <laughs> nobody shovels nothing. And you can't get, like, you can't walk anywhere. You got to walk in the street. I But I ride with Becky Milburn. I'll get it Tuesday. Just keep your house clean until then. Make Scuttles keep his stuff picked up. Uh-oh. That bead don't fit. Uh-oh. See ya. See ya Monday morning, Angela. Land Lincoln. Okay, how come all those other beads fit and now they don't want to fit? Okay. I'm going to have to... Okay, why? Why me? Okay, regroup. Use a different bead. Okay. No. You saw them fitting. All right, I'm just going to use a silver one. Look, Juju, look at my sequins. I have a thousand beads. <laughs> okay. just going to use if I had that won't even go even on the point of it I'm almost out of thread anyway oh that one worked the perils of beating 
and I haven't stuck myself and got blood all over it yet, so that's a good thing. I feel like it needs, it doesn't matter, right? <laughs> Why is there not one here? I should put a button or something. <gasps> I could put this. Except it's only one hole. Hmm. Okay. I need to think. have to lay it out no, I don't know I'm going to maybe use these. Do like this. Yeah, I like that. White bead and a bugle bead. And my car has a cassette player. <laughs> Ask that again. Because I'm not even watching chat. I just saw it pop up on my screen. Wait a minute. I guess I could do this. This card. Why why is it doing that? Oh, I'll have to watch it again. Stop. I don't want top chat. I want all chat. Live chat. Did Bailey find you yet? <laughs> okay. No, I don't know. There, I have the speakers, oh man, it's really good. But it desperately needs detailed. So I hopefully, I called the detail place and I left a message that I want to get on their list. 
But they're like two weeks out. And then I forgot to go by there and ask him if I was actually on the list. And it needs, you know, I'm going to have the brakes, front brakes redone. And you can't buy a car for less than $2,000. The cassette player works like a dream. Like a dream. I found it. <laughs> I found it. <laughs> uh, it's on my tablet, but... <sighs> um... Yeah, I have three. I have three cassettes. I have Simon and Garfunkel's greatest hits, <laughs> and some old country and Ronnie McDowell for my mom. <laughs> you did, Judy. Oh my goodness! You cut it, or somebody else cut it. So now I'm on the hunt for cassette tapes. I looked, I went to Gordyville. Okay, in my buying frenzy, I also went to Gordyville, which is the flea market. I could not find cassette tapes anywhere. And they have sold Gordyville. And it could possibly become an Amazon warehouse. But they're going to honor the contracts until December. So there's going to be Oh, Steve, you should send me some. Yeah, they're they're all freaking out, Tenna. They they it's sold. They know it's sold, but and they got till December. But then they don't know what's going to happen. I think they were just saying one million, but uh, who knows. I guess there's a bunch of farm ground that gets to go with it. Well, I'm sad. I want the flea market to stay. <laughs> but where's the flea market going to be? I can't go to Bloomington. Almost bought some Star Wars toys. There was a Darth Vader Mr. Potato Head. <laughs> and of course, I didn't take my phone in with me, so I couldn't get pictures. I was like, should I buy that? Should I buy that? It's only $5. <laughs> I want... I don't know what I want. I don't want Leonard Skinner. <laughs> I draw the line at Leonard Skinner. Marshall Tucker would be okay. What genre? Uh, Southern rock is fine. Classic rock, alternative. I don't know. Not country. Audiobooks would be great. Used to see them all the time, and now now I have a cassette player, and I won't probably won't ever see one again. Hello, whom whom Luma Lou. So I bought a Bluetooth speaker so I can listen to my podcasts in the car. You have cassette player too. Cool. 
I want one of them boxes that you keep your tapes in. I'll jazz it up. <laughs> nope, I have not heard of that, Kathy. Oh, you know what, who else I, what else I saw? You know, at that toy booth, you know which one I'm talking about, don't you? Um, Glenn from The Walking Dead. <laughs> Except he was $15, so I didn't get it. Didn't get that either. <laughs> so one time I was dreaming about Glenn, and my sister called me and woke me up. I will not, I will not forget that. Well, psalms were actually songs, so that makes sense, Kathy. Juju, are you listening? I'll never forgive you for waking me up from that dream about Glenn. <laughs> Yes, I know he got the big one. He, he, he bought the farm. But. <laughs> I'll be 90 years old saying, You woke me up from that dream. Which, I feel like I'm 90, so it's not too much of a stretch. Coat. Hey, there was a Daryl, too, but it, he was smaller than Glenn. <laughs> Jeannie, I, Jeannie Fritz, Jeannie Deck. I bought some embroidered stuff off of her. And, of course, Nanette and uh, Janine McConnell. Okay. That's, nope, I think I got a little bit of thread left. Oh, can I do one more? No. All right, let's recap. <laughs> the sequins for my sister. I need some buttons. He got home. Oh, good. Did he sneeze at all? I got to figure out how to put these on. I got to find some big white buttons. Notice I put these buttons on here. He did sneeze twice. Oh my goodness. And this one. This one's all shiny. And there's more of that trim. I wish I remember where that came from. If you gave me this, please let me know. Or did I buy it or what? Maybe it came from the idea store. I don't know. Okay, be looking for a haul video. And also that steampunk fabric where I take you from getting the fabric to cutting the fabric to rolling the fabric. So, thanks for being here and chatting. And... Y'all better have some crazy quilt blocks to work on next time. No. <laughs> the Enforcer. Wait, let me get my thing. The Enforcer has spoken. 
So I'll see you guys later. Oh, I gotta get up my thing out of the thing. Ugh.